Hello my dear students, welcome to Ross channel. Today we learn one more special identity that is for 8th class students. Here is the identity and I show how to derive the identity through geometrical, geometrical figure. Let's see the identity first that is what we are going to learn today is x plus a of x plus b is equal to x square plus a plus b of x plus a b. First let's see how the IUT is derived through a geometrical figure. Here is the figure. First I draw a square of side x This is the square of side x units. So obviously its area is x square. Side into side. That is x into x, x square. Okay. So I increase the adjacent sides of this square. That is this side and this side. I increase this side to a units. Whereas the adjacent side to b units not the same extension different this is b units okay let me complete the figure that means let me complete the square again by increasing dimensions okay this is the new square obtained by increasing the adjacent side to a units and b units let me complete the whole figure right right here also we have four regions let me mark the measurements along the sides this is also x, opposite sides all are a units and opposite sides all are x units, opposite sides all are b units. Okay. Now we have two rectangles, of course three different dimensions. This is rectangle of length L, of length x and the a units, its area a x okay. and its area this is x and b so this is bx and this is of a and b units its area ab so all together is the area of the new dimensions new figure let me sum up r this is i am multiplying actually the area of the whole figure is this length into this length this length is x increased by a units where this is increased by B units. The whole four regions area is the product of these two. We know. Let me write here. So when I multiply x plus a of x plus b, I have four regions inside. One is the x square, one is ax, bx, and a b. All together is the area of the whole figure. Now, since the middle term have the common factor x, let me take out the common factor that is x square plus x of a plus b plus a b. Okay, this is the way the identity is derived. Of course, you may confuse what is here in the middle term a plus b of x, and here I wrote x of a plus b. So you can multiply the factors in any order by commutative property that is a into b is equal to b into a. So a plus b of x is nothing but x of a plus b. You can write x here or at the end of the binomial after the bracket too. This is the simple way of derivation of the special identity x plus c of x plus b. Which is x square plus a plus b of plus a b. Okay. In this question, I increase both by a and b. What happens if I increase one side by A units and I decrease other by B units? That means minus. Can you derive this? You can try. The same way, when I increase B, if I decrease A units, then what? Or else, if I decrease both the adjacent sides by A units and B units, that means X minus A and X minus B. What is the outcome? Just try and experience 
enjoy by deriving the identities by alone. And we see at least one question today by using the identity. Let's write. Find product of two x plus three, two x plus eight. Okay, this is the question. See in the question, the product of two binomials where the first term is two x and the latter terms are three and eight. In the IIT also, the first two terms of the two binomials are x and later terms are different that is e and b. So I can use this identity here. So I write in my solution the given product factors that is 2x plus 3 of 2x plus 8 is in x plus a of x plus b. Whenever you see a question, you have to connect the question to the relevant identity. That is very important. Unless you identify, you cannot get anything. So here in my mind, x is 2x and a is equal to 3 and b is equal to 8. These are the values for the x, a, b in my mind. Now let me use the identity in full measure. Therefore, x plus a of x plus b is x square plus a plus b of x plus a b. Let me complete the RHS. x that is 2x. So 2x square are reminded once whenever you find the square of any use the bracket for shift side plus a for 3 and b for 8 and again x for the 2x plus a 3 of 8 is b. Let me compute finally. This is 4x square plus 3 plus 8 11. 11 2 is 22x plus 3 8 is 24. Okay. Without usual manipulation, without ordinary way of column or linear method of multiplication this is the simple way to, by using the enter to get the product and there are many many examples and are very useful and interesting examples I upload in my next video please subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to press the bell button so that you get the notification whenever I upload a video thank you for watching